Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's the mobile edition of Minecraft, played on phones, tablets, and iPads. And it's one of the hardest editions to play because, I mean, your your fingers just hog the entire dang screen, so, yeah. So I decided to take it upon myself and do a 100 days on this. Welcome to 100 Days in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, this video took 33 hours to make, plus hours. So if you could please go down below if you enjoyed this and like and subscribe. And of course, hook the notable inspired to this, and also socks for one and the terrain. So go check all of them out; they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is the world seed, and it'll also be down in the description. Maybe if I can refer figure out this crap. Uh, so uh, yeah, enjoy the video. <clears throat> Day one, I spawned in, did the huge, uh, mined a tree, but it wasn't oak, it was birch. Disgrace to start this, uh, journey of mining a, a, a birch tree instead of an oak tree. Because birch is just disgusting. Sorry if you like birch, it, it's, it's just bad. But I do use it in some builds, so, uh, hmm. But, anyways, let me show you guys what I was on in the beginning, uh, it's, it's a day counter when I click it. Uh, it tells me what day it is. After showing you guys this, uh, I made some sticks, crafting table, planks, and then made the wooden tools I need to help me start my journey, which are pretty useless. Um, yeah, so I mined up my crafting table and then got some stone. Interesting game plan, I know. When I was climbing this mountain uh, to my Utter surprise, there was a Lush Caves. That was my first one I found in survival. But then I started getting uh, ambushed by these zombies. So this one was dumb enough to walk out to the sun. But uh, I took him out, and this one was nice enough to drop his clothes for me. And I pretty much just spent the rest of the day in the Lush Caves until the night of day one. When I had to go out to hunt for some spiders to uh, get some wool to s sleep away the night. Because I was stupid and didn't get sheep while I could. So, I haven't hunt down mobs during the night to get crap to make wool and to make a bed and stuff. But here's me killing the last spider I needed. Uh, so, yeah, I whip out my crafting table, place it down, make some string, and then a bed. And I slept away my first night on the 100 days world. Day two, I was climbing up this cliff I found because I saw a cave. And when I was climbing it, my game started to get very, very laggy. And uh, yeah, I broke this block right here and I tried to place it under me and my game crapped out. All right, spawned back in or locked back in. It was not, so I immediately slept it away. Day three, came back and I started to mine stone, coal, I even chopped down some more trees, and I also mined up some copper. And on day five, I decided to fix the day counter. For some reason, it wasn't working. So, yeah, here's just me getting the stuff I needed. Um, as you can see, I'm not cheating or anything. I'm not giving myself a stack of netherite or anything, but, yeah, day is five, just fixing it up and as you can see I'm turning it back into survival mode and then turning off my cheats alright went back up to the lush caves to get some some moss and glowberries and also found some spruce wood which will be useful for builds in the future and I started to place down some moss cause I want to make my beach look lush it's pretty dull uh, yeah. And, and through day 13 through 17, I decided to make a house. I've picked out some music for you guys, and uh, yeah, enjoy the time -lapse.
And this is what it looks like finished. It looks pretty nice. Right, went back to that cliff and I saw a cave and my game started lagging. Would you guess it? My game crashed again. But here's the cave from up top. I don't know why I decided to show this, but I did. And I popped down to a mine shaft, which is useful in my case because uh, I forgot to bring wood. Yep. Uh, my brain's swelling. I know, my brain is huge. But anyways, I mined up the logs that I needed because, you know, I needed them for wood. And my two coal that I had, uh, I made actually a crafting table. No, I didn't make the torches yet. Oops. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, there was also a spawner right there. Found my first diamonds of the world. Uh, go check the seed. I didn't put them there. Uh, but I got attacked by a baby zombie, the destroyer of all good things. So, yeah, I took him out. Uh, and I was also snuck up on by a creeper. Uh, yeah, very good start to mining up these diamonds. But I don't know if you knew this, but you can make a furnace out of cobbled deep slate. Uh, but... Yeah, just me mining this up and making my my furnace. Uh, yeah, and then I had a brain fart where I couldn't figure out how to smell bullcrap. Uh, and it took a couple seconds for my pea brain to figure out how to smell iron. But when it got done smelting, I made an iron pickaxe, and this guy assassinated me, so I took him out. And then immediately slurped, slurped up my diamonds. Feels good. Yeah, and unfortunately there was two. I'd rather have three, but it's better than nothing, right? Oh, how convenient, more diamonds. Ah, uh, I didn't put them there. Look at my coordinates, go to the seed. I didn't put them there. Yeah, and unsurprisingly there was only two. Alright, I decided to mine up some dirt because I wanted to make my beach a crush. And I also got some sugar cane. And here's just me mining up the stone and... Yeah, busting down the dirt. And I specifically remember watching Kieran Dev when doing this. Uh, I don't know why I was watching them, but here's me making some legit armor because I want to go into the nether because I need some blaze rods. And here's me building the portal. Back to what I was saying, I need blaze rods because I want to cure a villager uh, because I'm too lazy to explore. The only time I really explored was when I was finding the fortress and the stronghold. But I'm going to make you guys wait until I spawn. Is that funny? Probably not. But... Uh, spawned in, not in the worst of places, but, yeah, after a while of exploring, I finally found another fortress. And eventually I found a blaze spawner, and I think this is me getting my last blaze rod, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, it is. Then after that, I went back to the portal, and went through. And it was night time, of course. On day 30, I decided to decorate the portal some. Yeah, uh, because it looks a little dull and bland. So, uh, yeah, I made it look even more dull and bland. And I decided to bone me with this moss, and I guess I didn't show me building that farm in front of me. It might show up later, I don't know. But, yeah, I built that. And I'm just making some blaze rods and blaze powder, and I'm also making the golden apple, and smelt, and not smelting, and making my weakness potions to cure a zombie villager. Which was very annoying to transport. Uh, I didn't show it, uh, but I went to go kill this creeper for some gunpowder, and and fortunately he dropped one, and my sword broke. But the zombie was holding one, and I was hopeful I could get it from him. And look at that, he did. So yeah, it had fire aspect one, not the best enchantment, but it's fine. Here's me getting the zombie villager on day thirty. The sun is rising, so I didn't have much time to do it, so yeah, I had to quickly, uh, move, I mean, build a roof over him, so, uh, yeah, cured him, and I wanted to make him a blast furnace dude, because I want some, some armor, 
But here's me transporting him, and he was just as dumb as a table. He wouldn't move. But after a while, I finally got him to his forever spot. And here's me just clearing out some area to make a house. Oh, look at that. The house is finished. It'll jump cut. Magic. Yeah, here's me planting the sugar cane I got. And smelting up some stone, so that way I can make a little hill on my uh, little day counter thing. And here's me doing that now. Would you like to see? Just kidding, I skipped that, and you can see it now. Alright, I got some cows, and yeah, because I need them for their skin. And I'm also making a sheep farm, because I need it for like beds and stuff. Here's me placing in the dispensers. Here's me getting some rails from, from that mine shaft that I found. And here's me struggling to get them in. This took a while. Yeah, this is sped up like uh, times 10 or something like that. I don't know. So it took me a pretty long time. Uh, but yeah, I had YouTube to keep me sane when I was doing this. So uh, yeah, don't worry about my sanity at all. Just don't. I'm not going to speak. Oh yeah, there's me just stopping the recording. Huh? Alright, I haven't been showing this, but I traded. Uh, later in the video, you see me go into the chest that I uh, have all the crap I traded with. But I also made a sword and an axe, because I'm still rocking stone tools this far into the video. Yeah, and I decided to slaughter these cows and leave the babies. And I decided to make an enchantment setup, because I needed enchantments. I thought it would be cool in the water. So yeah, after getting the pillars, I decided to put like a little birch plank rim around it, sort of. And then after that, I placed it in cobblestone. It's very basic, but but I like it. It's nice. And I decided that the the birch would look better stripped because the white textures look j just look so bad. But after that, I made the enchant enchantment t table uh, stuttering a lot and voice cracks. I know, but I placed it down and placed whatever bookshelves I had, which wasn't enough. So I'm going to have to grind a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm going back for more diamonds. Just just go to the seed in the description, and you can find all the diamonds for yourself. But yeah, there was a couple veins, and it was just enough for me to make some, uh, I think it was just armor, I think. But yeah, here's my last little vein. Uh, and then I headed back up to the surface, when I emerged, I was in the ocean. I had no idea where I was. Eventually, I got back home, but... Yeah, it took a while, kind of. And then I made some armor, because I'm still rocking iron this far into the video. Which is pretty embarrassing. Alright, placing the last bookshelf that I grinded for. And, yeah, here's me enchanting my armor. I got some pretty bad enchantments set for that one. Uh, yeah, everything else is just bad. Right, making a spider farm because I need the XP. Look at that, it's already done. So I'm breaking a torch and getting out here before I get mauled. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, enchanting my pickaxe. I almost said I'm breaking my pickaxe. But everything else just had bad enchantment. So, yeah. Uh, I decided to, when I enchant my chest plate, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, yeah, I enchanted my chest plate. Um, yeah, and it had just, uh, just protection three. Now I'm breaking. Uh, but anyway, tonight I'm deciding to get some zombie villagers, because, uh, well, just one zombie villager, because I need an unbreaking boy, because my armor's starting to break. So I decided to cure him, and just bring him into my house. But after a while, this took a while to get him breaking, and his prices are high, because I punched him out of rage a couple of times. Yep, slaughtering the cows today because I need them for their skin. Alright, trading for that unbreaking book. Books, I mean. Yep, plural. Alright, day 69, building a monument. What is it? No, it's not a PP. It, it, it's an L that can be viewed from any view. What does it stand for? Like the video, of course. Yep, enchanting my armor again. Got pretty bad enchantments again, except for that one. Of course, as soon as I get un uh, unbreaking books, I get unbreaking on my armor. Right, making an anvil literally cost me all of my iron. 
but uh, I made it happen. And I decided to combine my chest plate with an unbreaking book, so that way it's nearly indestructible. Alright, uh, enchanting my axe with bad enchantments. Got sharpness 4 on the sword with just sharpness 4, of course. But I put unbreaking on it and made it kind of decent. Alright, building an underground storage uh, base thing. This took a while. Like, this is probably the longest project in this world, other than the video itself. But, uh, yeah. Look at all this wood. This just proves how expensive uh, chests are. Look, only 33 out of all that wood I had. That's. I just feel like I just got robbed. Here's me getting the floor, I decided to make it dirt, and here's the last few blocks, which was very satisfying to place. And here's me doing the walls, because I didn't want them to just be normal stone. And here's me placing the last block of the entire thing. It felt really, really good. I got spore blossoms, that makes pretty nice effects. Alright, I'm making a villager breeder, which I'm not going to use at all. Uh... I, I tried to, <laughs> but it ended up failing very bad. Um, yeah, didn't show it, but I bred the my uh, other boy with the librarian. Yeah, I'm just hunting down Enderman because it's getting close to day 100, and I want to kill this dragon. Yep, these Endermen are very weak against my armor and god sword. Yeah, and here's me killing my last one. Uh, he wasn't too much of a challenge. And here's me enchanting a bow, which the best enchantment was flame, so I just took it, unfor and unfortunately, it was only just flame on there. Wait, what? There's actually more enchantments? Alright, making these Eyes of Ender, uh, day whatever we're on now, I lose track, and I threw it, and I went just a little bit to my left. Alright, buying a new helmet because my other one's fixing to break. Uh, so, yeah. I got a full health helmet, and I decided to name this diamond pickaxe Toothpick. Shout out to you, Technoblade viewers. Comment something down below. Alright, and I also repaired Toothpick because uh, he was getting kind of low. And yeah, I decided to look for it. I forgot to record when I was throwing my eyes, but. Threw at this village and it went under, so I decided to dig down, and eventually I found the stronghold and it was guarded by a skeleton, which I took out with no problem. Definitely. After a while of searching, I finally found the portal room, and uh, yeah, I destroyed the spawner uh, and killed these silverfish with no problems whatsoever. Yep, definitely didn't miss a thousand times. But, anyways, uh, I was. I remembered I had one uh, ender pearl from earlier, so I decided to put it in, put all my eyes in, and here's the last one. I set my spawn in case I die, which that doesn't happen. Trust me, it doesn't happen. It, it, if I was lying to you, you'd see all my like, XP and everything gone. But on day 95, I took a leap of faith and jumped in. Alright, I spawned in, and uh, I was on a little island, so I had to bridge quickly to get over to the other side. And I want you guys to enjoy this little time lapse with Halo music in the background, so uh, yeah, I'll see you when I kill this thing. After destroying the last crystal, it was time to meet the dragon in the middle. I missed that MLG by the way. I fed the bomb. I had done it. I had defeated my mighty ex-wife. Yep, that's definitely what it's called. As I watched it explode, I was very happy, and I immediately got the XP 
and you know exactly what I'm doing when I get back to the base, enchanting. But, uh, yeah. There, for some reason, there wasn't that much XP, so I decided to grab a torch, because I forgot one, don't judge me, then I punched it, and it teleported somewhere. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, on, behind this block, it was trying to hide from me, you coward. So I, uh, I placed a torch under it, broke the block, and stole the Ender Dragon's baby. And I finally jumped in, and I watched the entire two-hour credit scene, acknowledging every single little detail of every developer. No, I'm kidding. I'll just skip that crap immediately. All right. Jumping back in again, I guess. This time, I'm really making you guys watch it. I see the player you mean. Dukaboomo9? Nope, skipped it again. Right, went back, destroyed it, and jumped in. For real this time. I went back home, got got assassinated by another zombie villager, slept, and next day I placed my dragon egg on the 69 monument. And I decided to enchant my axe. The best was Fortune 3, and I only got Fortune 3, but I put a breaking on it to make it a decent axe. I'd rather have efficiency and silk touch. But I decided to name it Dig Sight because I was watching the... Uh, Hell Infinite campaign while I was doing this. And, uh, yeah, I decided to enchant some books, and I got Looting 3, which I put on my, my sword. And named it Your Dad. Nice. And then I decided to, on day 99, the last day, I decided to make a roof. And this is it finished. And finally, day 100. Or the sunset of day 99, excuse me. Finally, day 100. This journey has been incredible. And this did take a very long time, so if you could please like and subscribe. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. My name is DukeBoomo9, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>